on everyone? Doing something a little different. Send in the sprayer, yes. I'm not spraying any chemicals though. And I'm using water as a carrier. I have signed up with uh, Advancing Eco Agriculture. Um, and I am putting on fall soil primer. Their fall soil primer. Oh, calibration not done. I was waiting for my sprayer to calibrate. So I'm putting down their fall soil primer, which is Rejuvenate, Rejuvenate Sea Shield, and Spectrum. Um, a gallon per acre of Rejuvenate and Sea Shield, and 1.76 ounces, or 50 grams of uh, Spectrum per acre. And I'm spraying on 20 gallons per acre of water, so it's pretty high flow stuff. I got pretty big nozzles on here. Uh, Producing some pretty good droplets. I'm not gonna get above 40 psi. So yeah. Uh, once I get going some more, I'll talk to you some, some more then. You bet. Hey guys, uh, I had a couple of nozzles that were starting to plug. They weren't too bad. Uh, just had a little bit of crap in them. So. Um, but yeah, it's pretty. This is weird, guys. I'm be, I'm out in this awesome cover crop in the fall with a sprayer it doesn't happen it normally doesn't happen because with a sprayer you're normally killing something and today I'm adding less. yeah so this is planted after my wheat so there's volunteer wheat and I think there's some cereal rye in here some turnips nice vetch um, Radish went to seed for some reason. More vetch radish. Uh, I thought there was supposed to be some peas out here. I think that's what that is actually. That, yep, there's pea. Uh, maybe some other small grasses, I'm not sure. No, there's another. There's a vetch right there, small one. So I'm down on the end of the field where grasses didn't take off too well. Uh, Come over here. Oh, yeah, here's brassicas. It's a radish there. It's got to pull that one up. Yeah. Look at that guy. Found a hard pan right there. He busted through it too. It wasn't too hard, I guess. About three inches deep or so. Two, two inches deep, there's a hard pan. All the pretty flowers. You can see right back over there, it's darker green. Uh, there's less brassicas, but there is more grass. Um, yeah, and we also have the dreaded thistle. Dandelion. Yeah. So. Yeah. Take a look at this over here where it's darker green. I'll walk over. Actually, it looks pretty good right here. You can see though, there's no, there's not as many brassicas. So this is why you plant a mix of cover crops and not just one species because you'll get areas where, like over there. The brassicas did really well, and over here, not that far away, the grasses did pretty good. That's why I plant a mix all the time, guys. Uh, I try to have a bunch of different species in the mix, nine or so. What's this species? Oh, buckwheat. I think, and peas and all sorts of other stuff climbing, climbing all over it. Yeah, I think this is buckwheat. Maybe not. Oh no, that was a radish. I see it. Right here is the flowers for a radish that's went to seed. I bet that's the same if I follow it down. Boy, it really grew funny. 
Yeah. Yeah, guys, this is pretty awesome to be able to do this. This is not cheap, though. If you thought chemicals were expensive to spray on, this is this is worse than that. For... Ooh, look at this one. Look at that big turn up there that I ran over. I don't know if that one will survive. When you have two sets of tracks, it's only 100 feet though, and you're gonna run over some things like that and kill them off. The grasses should be fine. And uh, legumes should be okay. Can run over a little bit. But uh, brassicas are gonna be hurt. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this field next year. I think I might try something different. Something I've never grown before. We'll see. Get going. Going about, wow, well, that's a flashy screen on this thing. Just about 10 miles an hour. I'm trying to keep my PSI under 30. They say no more than 40 with this stuff, so I figure if I just try to keep it under 30, it'll be okay. 20 gallons per acre, I've covered about 16 acres so far. The wind is forecasted right there. Humidity, temperature. Yep. Definitely a nice night to be out spraying. Um, that light. Uh, so the other reason why I'm doing this right now, guys, is that the stuff that I'm spraying on requires a lot more water than I can physically do. Um, but they say you can use light tillage to get it into, which you guys know me and tillage. I don't want to do it if I don't have to. But they've also, I came across the weather and it's supposed to rain a good amount. So, I am out in front of a rain right now that's gonna add up to be about an inch over the weekend. So we should get enough water to get this stuff washed into the soil and usable. But I'll uh, just check my nozzle on the plug. They're doing them good now. Uh, yeah. So with that inch of rain, we'll be sitting good out here, hopefully, and this stuff will work great. And the whole point of this is um, cut back on fertilizer and seed cost. By adding life to the soil, that's one of my points. Um, I just I love the fact that I'm adding biology as well. It's going to help, help fix the nutrient cycle, the water cycle. It's going to help do everything, guys. It's going to open open up the soil, be a little bit more, add more tilt to it is what they like to see, what farmers like to say, which is, I don't know, it's more porous. Softer soils, more mellow soils. Should work out pretty good. I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, getting ready to mix my last load why I don't spray at night too often. So I got the lights on the sprayer. I got the lights from the tractor shining into the trailer so I can maybe see something in there. I do have my flashlight for behind stuff. And I have the lights on the Ranger so I can see the level. One partial load left on uh, stuff that's already been planted to cover crops. That's That was my goal, get that done. I got 25 acres to go on that, so I'm gonna load this load up, hit that, and be done for the night. It's about 7.30 now. We were supposed to start raining about eight, but they, they bumped it up to about eight in the morning now, so uh, that's all right. I don't have to be in a huge hurry now. 
Uh, I guess I wouldn't have really anyway before, but yeah. Get this last load up and maybe I'll get some footage in the sprayer. Working at night. I'll see you in a bit. Got myself a little show tonight. A lightning show. So uh, I just got done loading the sprayer. That stuff's all supposed to stay. That's north of us and that's supposed to stay north of us, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, it's stuff that's coming from the west, I think. I don't know, I didn't look too hard at the radar. I just know that's gonna stay north and it's not supposed to rain for a while yet. But, yeah. These lights are from the sprayer. They're pretty dang bright. So doing a little night spraying and oh, I put the tractor away, got the ranger put away. <laughs> phone doesn't show it as much, but it's pretty dark over here. The phone's pretty good at compensating. You can't really see in there without any lights and Oh yeah, sure I can see that on my phone, but looking at it in person I can't really read any of that. Let out. Last load of the night. Well, everyone, I'm here spraying this last load. Got the light on so I can see. Turn it off. It's dark in here. The mission doesn't seem too bad in here for me. Uh, I got the monitors over here, so they're like things up. Make it a corner. I still got a lightning show done to me. Uh, I think that's going to last a while. High school football game got uh, lightning delayed. So, yeah. Pretty serious stuff, I guess. I don't know. I think it's a small little storm. That's what it's like outside. Hopefully, the monitors are bright. some lights on my sprayer if I'm gonna ever spray at night again because it just shines on the dirty windows and then I really can't see anything. Both sides. So I just leave those lights off and spray like this. I can't see if any nozzles are working or not but maybe I'll solve that next year. Yeah. That's what it's like spraying at night for here. And the video, a little bit of the lightning storm if I can. Nah, it's not going over. Catch you guys later. <laughs>